Hello, and welcome to Cinemania. I'm looking over there. Um, so this week, we have the big announcement about the Cannes Film Festival lineup, um, which has a lot of people in it. Uh, it's going to be very interesting, or very snoozy, depending. Uh, Woody Allen is not in it, um, which is not super surprising, but was a big question mark because his new film is in French. Um, but there is Catherine Brayat, who is the, you know, famous French controversial filmmaker. So it will be very interesting. Um, and then Jonathan Glazer is back, uh, the director of Little Joe, who I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but I should have because I was just looking at a whole friggin' article about this. There are six um, female directors in competition, which is the most they've ever had. So that's awesome. Um, so that's very cool. So Ken is happening. No Oppenheimer, no Barbie. Um, uh, the film by my Wen is opening, uh, the, I don't know, I'm rambling. Um, competition with Johnny Depp, which will also have its controversy, um, or not, depending on if you ask Thierry Frémo. Um, so that is Ken. And then this week I watched, you know what guys, honestly, I'm getting tired and I need to figure out how to make these videos shorter. So I'm just going to talk about three movies each time and then give a recommendation and call it a day. So, uh, this week I watched The House That Screamed, the 1969 Narciso Ibanez, um, Cerador film, uh, from 1969. It was the first Spanish film to be shot in English. I watched it on Elvira's Movie Macabre which is a lot of fun, and there's a lot of them streaming on movie. Um, it features the first ever slow motion murder in a Spanish film, so that's cool. Uh, it inspired Suspiria, which was very obvious while watching it. It was my overwhelming thought while seeing it. Um, it's okay. Uh, and it also inspired Pieces, which is just a hilarious controversial horror film. Um, is it controversial? I don't know. Everything's controversial. Here, see, here's the deal. I love controversial things. If it's controversial, I'm in. So like if it's a filmmaker like you're not supposed to be watching, I'm watching it. Um, if it is something that is disturbing, I'm watching it. Uh, I don't really give a shit because I love film more than anything. Um, I care about people, but I care about film more than anything. So that's my two cents. So I will probably talk about a lot of different controversial people at different times in these videos. So there. Disclaimer, I guess. I don't know. It sounded very white man splainy boo I don't know anyway um so oh it also featured the first ever close-up slow motion murder in Spanish cinema history um it was also called La Residencia and someone's alarm is going off this video is chaos and I'm here for it um and also featured John Mulder Brown which I was like I know that person which he is in the film Deep End, which is the Jersey Skolomowski film, which influenced one of the other films I watch, which is Ennisman. Ennisman um, is currently playing in New York and it is directed by Mark Jenkin. And it is uh, a film shot on an uninhabited island off the Cornish coast. Um, it is about a kind of solitary woman who is observing flowers and it feels very inspired by, I mean, it, it will get a lot of similarities to The Wicker Man, and it feels very inspired by, like, images. I like images a lot more um, than this film, but I would give it three out of five lichen growths. Apparently everyone's obsessed with lichen or mushrooms or whatever right now in films, so that's happening. Um, but it was very cool. It was also inspired by The Shout, which is a film, that's the Jersey Skolomowski film, which I adore and I think is really amazing and wonderful. Um, I would give it, I don't know, three out of five uh, lichen-covered stomachs. Um, where am I going? Where am I going with this? Where am I going with this? Okay, we're under five minutes almost. Uh, so, oh, the House That Screamed, I would give it, uh, I don't know, two out of five 
showering while you're fully clothed. We're gonna get this under five minutes and 30 seconds because I'm gonna try to do this quicker. Um, and then I watched Repossess, the Bob Logan film that came out the year I was born, which is a send up of The Exorcist with Linda Blair and Leslie Nielsen and Ned Betty. Ned Betty and Linda Blair also uh, starred in uh, Exorcist II, The Heretic together. Um, and it won a Razzie for He's Coming Back the Devil. It's funny if you like juvenile, very juvenile, like kind of 90s movies. It would be very offensive today, probably in a lot of ways, but it was very fun. Um, and then the film that I would recommend, because I'm going to recommend a film that's, I don't know, not controversial, um, would be if you want a great film to watch that you've never seen, Between the Lines, the 1977 film by Joan Micklin Silver, who is a very important filmmaker, um, and she's wonderful. I think she passed away last year. Um, big fan, huge fan. And it's about a group of people working at an alternative newspaper in Boston. Um, and it's a lot like if you like The Big Chill or Return of the Sakaka 7, it's very important. Um, and it's delightful and it has a lot of people that you would know in it. So that is my video. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.